this is me Tia. Yeah, I don't know if you could see me clearly from the distance. But um, as you guys know, I am getting married this January. This coming January is currently, um, babe, uh, October? October. Um, October 4th. So we have 24 days in three months or something like that, four months. Whatever, you guys can calculate the math. At the moment, I'm hungry, waiting for my fiance to cook us dinner before he abruptly leave me to go home tonight. So, um, I'm going to try to get this video out of the way um, in the process. So, um, at this moment, as you guys can see, I have a six foot long table. It's a pretty, uh, pretty long table. Longer than arm's length. Um, it's six feet long, two and a half feet wide. And the reason why that matters is because the tables that I have at my reception are six feet long and three feet wide. It's a six by three uh, table. And recently I went online and I looked at what size tablecloths that I would need, so on and so forth. I was looking for centerpieces, whatever the case may be. So what I'm going to show you guys right now is um, my, my, how can I say this? my dessert table because it's not necessarily a can candy table and it's not all of a dessert table it has a bit of candy and a bit of dessert to it and um, we're still figuring out exactly what uh, desserts that we want um, I'm gonna have to sit down with my fiance and talk about that per se and yes I will be baking uh, the majority of everything I have some friends at my job I work in a bakery currently that uh, who said they wouldn't mind helping me bake a few things and decorate and I'm also planning on having a a dessert night where we all decorate, dip things in chocolate, so on and so forth. So I'm going to show you guys really quick how I decorated uh, my candy table, and I may just do my 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 regular guest sitting tables as well, uh, if time presumes. So here goes nothing. Just in case I end up doing a voiceover. Um, I just want to let you guys know ahead of time, everything that I'm doing is so cost efficient and um, I hope you enjoy. This is um, a tablecloth that I bought from Smarty Had a Party. Uh, it's really long, it's beautiful. The length that I got is a 60 by 1 and 2. If you have a table like mine, which is rectangle and it's a 3 by 6, the best that you would like is a 60 by 1 and 2 because this will fall on the person's lap. So uh, it actually has a hangover and like I said, this is 6 foot by 2 and a half. So we'll have a little bit more hangover than the actual table, but it's uh, pretty much the same thing. So I've been using this table for all of my experiments to figure stuff out. I actually got this table from Walmart a long time ago to uh, sell things and bake sales and so on and so forth. So as you guys can see, it does have crease in it. Let me see if I can zoom in. It does have creases, but personally, I don't really care about the creases. Maybe I will the day of the wedding. And uh, I have like this steamer to steam my clothes, but I doubt that I will do that. Um, I actually found these things at a thrift store. Um, let me make sure I zoomed out. Right, yeah. I actually found these at a thrift store. I have seven of them. They were piled up like so. Seven tall. And I guess people usually use this for like laundry or whatever the case may be. And I was thinking I really needed boxes or something to go on the table that I wanted to stagger downward. So I figured that uh, I was like, you know what? This looks like an awesome idea. And while in the thrift store, I found this sparkle dress to lay over it to give my mind a bit of a push in my imagination and I was like you know what I think I actually like how that looks so um, I can show you guys kind of how that turned out from my mind to the table and that's kind of why I have this demo because having an imagination like mine could drive me crazy if I don't actually put things to play And since the table at the wedding will actually be a bit longer than this, I may have to pull it up for it so the table doesn't look so empty, which is something to also think about. 
This is a uh, fabric because our wedding colors are like, of course, silver and glitter. Silver glitter in a uh, a turquoise blue kind of. It was supposed to be like a winter blue Tiffany blue, but after we're looking at everything, it's seeming to be a bit turquoise. But it's still pretty for the winter. Um, this is way more than I need. I'm actually going to end up cutting this in half. I bought this from, from Hobby Lobby. It was about $5.00. A yard and I bought three yards yeah so I came up to like actually yeah it was six six a yard because it came up to $18 they always have coupons I used the 40% off coupon and mm, came up to whatever you guys do the math so here we go so I'm actually like I said going to cut this in half and I'm still going to have a lot of leeway with this. And uh, I'll put it forward a little bit. And then after that, I also have these big, beautiful wine glasses that I got from Michaels. I've been um, engaged since January of this year. And it's October, so we've been engaged for... Oh my gosh, it's October? Mm -hmm. Oh, sh shit snakes. There's only two months left in this year. After this month. Including this month. Including this month. Time is running out. So, we've been engaged for almost a year. Two more months and it'll be a year. And then, of course, that's December and we get married in January. Um, I don't remember when I bought these, but it was within a year. So, when you guys have a longer engagement, you can buy stuff more often you know at a slower pace so it doesn't seem so much of a big cost all at once these were about twenty dollars i think but i got it off 40 or 50 percent off each because i'll buy one and then i'll go back and i'll buy again or i'll come another day to get something else so it looks like a bubble in here i also have stuff in here like from my engagement party these little rings and stuff because for now i can use it as storage Put that here. Let me actually center this. I also have this that I found at a local thrift store um, in my city. It's called Goodwill. I'm sure it's probably some somewhere else, but yeah, Goodwill. And I just find how I want to put everything on the table. I like to see height at the top as well as at the bottom. You want it to be kind of all over my table is going to be very simple I found these at Party City they were a little less than uh I think they were less than 10 bucks each this is uh three liters um and it's called the jumbo drinking glass at Party City because these as glass are a lot of money unless you find them at a thrift store so uh finding it at Party City and when you spend a certain amount of money like you spend fifty dollars you get like ten or something like that they always have different type of coupons you never have to pay full price for something if you don't want to so um uh, I might as well add this now I got this toll from Michaels as well because this is going to be on our regular tables and I figure until I actually buy my candy and everything, I want to see a bit of blue on the table. So I'm going to put that here. These clear glass plates I got from Dollar Tree for a dollar. And sometimes they always have different kind of plates or you can order things online. But uh, I randomly put these over the place. Actually, now that I remember, I put these up here. And I put this here this up here, this here, this here, and you kind of want everything to just fall into place. As you can see, this is pretty empty. I have these beautiful long plates here. I think I bought this for a dinner party that I had, and um, they're very fancy. It's kind of like what you see at a restaurant when you have appetizers and stuff like that. They'll charge you an extra $5 for something that's simply who knows? 
a dollar. You'll be paying ten dollars for entree just because they put it on here pretty. So these plates really uh really take the sand. Put these down. Here. And then uh I saw someone make this video on YouTube. I'll probably make it uh, once I start making them for my centerpiece. This is going to be kind of like my centerpiece for uh, my tables. And this is actually an earring that I just found that broke. I had two of them, of course, for the earrings. So I'll probably find something that looks like this, similar, or maybe even a snowflake. That would be awesome if I could find a snowflake to put on each, each centerpiece. But I think this is really pretty, so I put that there. Of course, these are flowers and... Yeah, that's that. These are, of course, regular mason jars that I made. These are supposed to actually go on the the regular table, which I'll show you guys how I used this in my setup. Because we're going to have these cool little uh, puzzles. This is actually pens and pencils in here, but you wouldn't really know because it looks pretty and I have to fill it up some more, but put that here. Um, these were um, on Clarence on Michaels. Um, they were actually white, and one was like two of them were like brown, like wood. I colored both of them. I painted both of them silver with paint, and then I sprayed them with glitter. Or I think I painted glitter on it with Mod Podge. Yeah, I painted glitter on these with Mod Podge. So um, I wanted to put these right here. These are me and my fiance initials. And my toe keeps rolling up because, I don't know, it's been through some things since I keep practicing stuff. So I'll just put it like this. RNS. Or you know what? I could probably put this here. Should I? No, that's fine. Like I said, you guys can do it however you want to. This is something random. I actually bought this from Party City too. I think it's supposed to go on as a necklace. My hair's too big for that right now. It's supposed to go on as a necklace, but uh, I thought it was pretty to just randomly put somewhere. Maybe. And there was also one more little random thing that I had. Oh, this is um, something that we bought. It's called, it was called like an impulse shelf that they had at Michael's with stuff that they're giving away they no longer need in the store, whatever the case may be. And I actually bought about 22 of these little frames, baby. Mm -hmm. 22 of these. And we only 24, need 24. And we only have 22 tables or something. So I figured I could use an extra one somewhere. And maybe I could put like a super tiny quote in here when I find the size of paper and paint on them because I'm going to print out the table number like one through whatever. Maybe I could put like a heart or a smiley face or his last name or a picture of us. Whatever the case may be, I thought it was pretty and it'll go nice on opposing ends. I think it's nice to have opposites like if I have this here, have that there, have something in the middle, have this here, have that there. Same thing, have something in the middle, that there, that there. You guys get the point. Also, um, I think these candies, these little, uh, things come in handy. These are actually little bags, little treat bags that I bought from Michaels a while ago. As you guys can see, this is how it opens. Um, I actually had, um, my sister-in-law, well, my fiance's sister-in-law, she bought these and it was actually, like, in and bezel and bezeled and whatever they printed on it but the way they printed on it it was like gold or silver and i can't figure out how to print gold or silver which i haven't really put much research in it but i'm sure it's like a certain machine or something so um i was thinking about getting that done if i do i'll let you guys know about it but it's an extra cost that doesn't mean anything people are going to eat whatever they put in here and throw these away so maybe I don't need to put the extra money towards it yeah it'll be pretty if anything I'll throw this in a printer print out something pretty like I'll let you know if I do it and then go from there or even if I don't do it I'll probably still do it uh, just to give you guys some DIY ideas and it's always nice to fill up your table so however many I get 
I'll split it in half, put some here, and put some here. And I think I'm pretty satisfied with this being my dessert table. Um, if you guys want to get an idea of the type of stuff that I want to put, um, I'm very price savvy. I think that my family understands that we're not rich. We're having a, uh, a big number of people, about 175 people, including us, has the wedding party. Um, I imagine me probably buying some uh, Hershey Kisses to go in here because chocolate is one of the most expensive things. Maybe some chocolate balls. I was thinking even if I could fill these up with um, some, maybe what's that popcorn, the sweet popcorn, kettle corn? Yeah. Some kettle corn, but the only thing I was thinking with the kettle corn is that it's brown. And that wouldn't be with my color contrast, but at the same time, it's something that people love to eat. Um, maybe even cotton candy. I was thinking about the blue cotton candy. Uh, you know, stuff that um, is pretty tasty, but also affordable. You don't always have to do what everybody else does. Of course, there's the taffies. Taffies are pretty affordable, and it's an old-fashioned candy that a lot of older people would like. Um, I know my parents probably would like it because they're like, oh, girl, what you know about that? Everybody has their parent who says stuff like that or their older person. Um, on, on these little uh, platforms, I do chocolate covered strawberries. So I was thinking about putting, you can uh, put a line of four here and eight, maybe eight. So each of these can have like 32 chocolate covered strawberries on it. 32 here, 32 there. It's 175 guests. Some people don't even like chocolate covered strawberries. My fiance don't. So some people can get it, some people don't. 60 so much strawberries. Um, I was also thinking about doing uh, brownies. Um, the brownies will probably go on something like this. Um, do squared brownies and uh, put them in a circle. Put them in a circle going around and around and then stack them and then stack them until there's probably one brownie on top um, on both of these. And then also put some cookies, the same thing. Just because you want a dessert table, guys, doesn't mean that it has to be expensive. It doesn't mean that you're rich because you're getting married. It means that you love somebody. You want to enjoy this. You want to have a celebration. You want to give your family something that says thank you. This is my favorite table. Some people have the dessert table plus favorites, but I'm sorry. I'm not rich. This will be our wedding favors. We'll probably put some feathers here. Some feathers or something big or cute here. Or maybe a big sign with letters that says... Uh, I was thinking something cute like do us a favor and then um, the back will probably be say if I do it grab a tree do us a favor grab a tree uh, that would be our wedding favor um, like I said the cookies you can do the same thing you can put cookies here and then stack the cookies going around and around until you make a pile of a mountain of cookies so I can have cookies there, cookies there, brownies there, brownies there the candy inside of that, the chocolate covered strawberries I also wanted to do something like Oreo trifles and um, what Oreo trifles are is basically you um, you take your food processor you separate the cookie Oreo from the cream you uh, you soften up the the cookie and you put the Oreo cream back inside I don't know if that makes sense but if you guys get the opportunity after watching my video go ahead and Google and YouTube chocolate Oreo trifles and that's something chocolate covered Oreo trifles and that's something that I would love to do for my wedding but looking at my table, it still looks beautiful. It looks elegant. It's price efficient. These, uh, these you can buy, the mason jars you can buy in a package from Target. I found Target actually was the best place to buy my mason jars because I also sell banana pudding in them and I also sell uh, cake in the jar in my jars. And I sell those. So, yeah, and I put glitter on it. If you guys want me to go in depth about anything that I put on this table, please let me know.